Hi guys, this is Heather with Whippoorwill Creations and today I am working on an acrylic pour technique. I got my gloves on. I got a, an old canvas that I repainted over with some black. It's still wet and I've got some strings in a cup of red. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm just going to test how it affects the way you lay it on. So the first one I'm going to do, I'm going to try to coil it clockwise. And I had the, the, this is just cotton string that you, kitchen, kitchen string. And I soaked it in water and that was not, that wasn't very good. So Let's try another one. That first one, I, I squeezed some of the paint off. So don't squeeze the paint off. And apparently you have to work fast because <laughs> it drips. Okay, so now I'm going to pull. That's clockwise. Now I'm going to do a counterclockwise. See how that looks. We'll pull it off that way. Ooh, that looks like a leaf. Okay, so that's a cool technique. And let's do a double loop down here. We'll go counterclockwise and then clockwise and see what that does Oop. that's kind of cool let's see if we can do that again and do clockwise this way and then Counterclockwise this way. So far, it's pretty cool. Alright, we'll move this one out of the way. And I have another one. Oops. I have another one here. Get that out of the way. Already rep, prepped and ready. And this one, I've got one more string left in here. I want to try to see what it looks like if you do two ends and then pull. Not really anything there. So let me just really re-dip re it. And I know there's black paint in my red paint now. It don't matter to me. I'm just trying to see what I can get by pulling the two strings at once. Hmm. Looks kind of fun. And I've got paint left over, so let me just get this one piece wet again. And we will pull it. Come on. We will pull it off this way. But now my black is getting mixed in. So it's contaminating the red. So counterclockwise. 
and I'm going to pull it off to the right if I can. That was kind of fun. Now I have to take my glass, my uh, glasses. Don't take my glasses off. I won't be able to see. Take my gloves off. Clean up my surface. But anyway, that one, not so good. Because the paint was contaminated with black. But this one, get it out of the light. As you can see, now, after I um, watch the video, I have to write down what I did because I don't remember. But anyways, it's kind of cool. I wonder if you can uh, play with this. To get the stems skinnier. I wonder what would happen if I took my comb and just drew right down the center. The canvas is showing through because I didn't wait for the, I didn't do a base coat. Hmm, interesting. Some kind of technique, anyway. So you could just play with it and see what you like doing. See what kind of effect you get. But anyways, that's, this is how I work. I have to do test pieces. So I'll let this dry and I'll paint over it and I'll use these two again. But anyways, uh, thank you for watching. And I hope you will join me in another video. Be sure to like the page. Or subscribe and click the bell <coughs> excuse me <clears throat> so you can get notified every time I upload a new video but anyways just thought I'd play with some paints today and uh, I guess uh, that's it for me today so until next time happy crafting <laughs>